Roll down your window. No. I cannot see you. Your window's fogged up. Roll down your window. No. Have you had anything to drink today? I don't answer questions. Okay. Well, I can't see you. Too bad. Okay, guys. Check out uh, Sean Cole's channel. I'll put the link to it in the description. He does very good work on dealing with law enforcement. This is a new channel, and this guy has been pulled over and messed with by the police. So what is he doing about it? He's standing up for his rights. Remember, guys, you got to turn a negative situation into a positive situation. The fact of the matter is, this gives him the ability to know what it's like firsthand on dealing with law enforcement, flexing your rights with law enforcement, and knowing your rights. And getting comfortable with this. So when they when they he ever comes from an encounter with the police, it's just another day in the office. Enjoy the video. Roll down your window. No. I cannot see you. Your window's fogged up. Roll down your window. No. Roll down your window. No, I will not roll down the window. I'm only required to do it a couple inches. This is all you're getting. Well, I can't see you. Too bad. Uh no, that is not too bad. That means you roll down your window so I can identify you. No. I have no idea why you stopped me. Well, maybe because you're driving down the median. No, just for 43. Subject's already recording and refusing to hold on this window. You gotta roll down your window or else I'm gonna take you out of the car. Because I can't see who you are. You, Your windows are literally all fogged up. I cannot see you for my safety. I don't know what's in your hands. Roll down your window. There's my hands. Roll down your window so I can see you. There's my hands. Don't don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. As far as I know, but I could be wrong, there is no law stating you have to roll your windows down. When a police officer pulls you over, get back to the video, guys. Charles four zero zero seven nine three six eight three four three. So I stopped him to driving all the left tires on the median, double yellow line on the white. Have you had anything to drink today? I don't answer questions. Okay, fantastic. In this next video, this man exercises his Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Understand this. You have a right to remain silent. It's always important when you don't want to talk to the police that you, ex you, you say, and I quote, I'm going to invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. And that's it. And don't say nothing else. So, if you... <sighs> Always film the police because it is your first member right to do so. How's it going? Everything okay? Is everything all right? What you doing out here? Yeah, I'm recording too, so that's good. I'll be right with you. Okay. Can I help you? They had just called because they were just concerned. Okay. Are you
you just videotaping tape the road or is there anything going on that we need to know about? What's your name? There, huh? All right, I'll be right with you. So there's nothing wrong with exercising your rights to remain silent. If you don't want to talk to the police while being investigated, you legally don't have to. It's your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. So the fact of the matter is that this guy did a good job on dealing with the police and understanding that you have a right to film is important because the fact is this, if you don't exercise your rights when you're dealing with the police, guess what? Guess what's going to happen? They are going to use that to their advantage. And what's going to happen is that the police are going to lie, get you to confess, get you to give your name get you to do exactly what they want to do if you don't know your rights. They use intimidation as a, a tactic, which is very, which is, I'm not going to lie, it's very impressive, but most people, if they knew their rights, they wouldn't be afraid. But people don't know their rights. And do I think people will know their rights eventually? But I think it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of time. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, filming the police is your right. And it's recommended that you film law enforcement in the United States. Always film the police. Okay, so the rest of this video will be additional commentary. So if you don't want to hear it, leave now because this is the end of the video. So the fact of the matter is the police are not your friends. And I'm going to repeat this again. The police are not your friends. Why do you think it is that when they approach you, they're paranoid, they're, they're, they're on edge, because they don't, they see you as a potential, you know, they, they see you as a, it starts with an E, and these guys just don't trust you. That's how they're trained, and unfortunately, it all starts from the top. The fact of the matter is, I've met cops outside of their uniform, and they're chill, they're cool, they're good to hang around. Of course, they still got their police instincts, but it's not as bad when they're in uniform. When they're out of uniform, they're cool. But when they're in uniform, they're a different person. And it's weird. It's like it's like they go into like some sort of, I don't know. So it's a weird situation there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as I do my best to add additional commentary and narration. I want you to understand that when you're filming the cops, it is very intimidating. It's a scary situation because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know... If you're going to go to jail, you don't know if that's your last day. You don't know. When you're dealing with the police, you don't know. And that is why it's important that you film law enforcement in the United States. Always film the police. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as I do my best at additional commentary and narration throughout the video. Understanding that you have a right to film in public. You have a right to do this. So... I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, remember, all original links are in the description. Remember, always film the police. I'm out, guys. Peace out. And, uh, yeah, have a wonderful day. Bye.